Hi Sagittarius, this is your horoscope for April 2018. Thanks for joining me, it's nice to be with you today. Now from the 1st of April until the 15th of April, we have Saturn conjunct Mars in your second house of money and belongings. Saturn is the planet of structure and security. Mars is the planet of drive, desire and getting things moving. And they're in that second house of money in the sign of the worker, Capricorn. So for the first 15 days of April, your main concern is going to be how you work, how you create abundance and wealth for yourself and how you can make improvements in that area of your life. And that may mean that you change jobs or you ask for a promotion or you split off completely and you make a lateral move into a new employment or you start your own business. But the main point and your main focus for those two weeks is going to be, am I being compensated enough? And is the way I work congruent with who I am on the inside? Am I living my life purpose? And am, am I creating the kind of wealth for myself that I can create? On the 16th of April, we have a new moon in Aries. And a new moon is when the moon and the sun sit together and the moon is totally black and it recharges its batteries. I'll make a separate video on that to go into more detail, but the important thing for you is that it happens in your fifth house of romantic relationships. So the new moon in Aries is really going to give you a lot of power and it's going to uh, make you look at your romantic relationships and look at the future and how things are progressing and what you want to achieve in your romantic relationships. So if you're single, you'll ask yourself, do I want to remain single or do I want to be in a relationship? If you're in a relationship already, you'll ask yourself, is this relationship going any way, anywhere, or has it run its course? So those are really tough kind of things to ask yourself. But with this new moon in Aries, you'll have the uh, power to look at those things, to make tough decisions, and to follow up on those decisions by taking action. Also on the 16th of April, we have Mercury, the communication planet, going direct. And that sits in your fifth house of romantic relationships as well, in Aries. So for the last couple of weeks, it's been really difficult for you to decide how your relationship is going and what you should do about it. So maybe you've had arguments and you haven't known who's at fault or whether you're both at fault and it seemed very fuzzy. With Mercury going direct, you'll really see the situation very clearly and objectively for what it really is. And again, that's going to help you make a decision around your relationships moving forward. On the 17th of April, going through all the way until the 6th of September, Saturn goes retrograde. So this is an outer planet and the retrogrades of outer planets last much longer. That's in your second house and it gives you the ability to say no and to dismantle things that you don't like and to um, let go of things that no longer serve you. So for the first 15 days of the month, you were looking at creating more abundance for yourself through making changes in your working life. Now that you've done that, you're letting go of things that no longer serve you. On the 22nd of April through until the 30th of September, we have Pluto going retrograde. And Pluto retrograde allows you to let go of wounds and to take responsibility. So if you've been in a job which really has exploited you in a way and you've just been stuck in that job and you haven't been paid enough and you've been asked to work really hard, instead of just feeling guilty about that and saying, oh, you know, I should have left that years ago and feeling guilty and not doing anything about it. Instead, you'll forgive yourself for it. You'll say, okay, that's happened, but now I'm going to take responsibility for my working life and I'm going to make these changes and I'm going to work differently. So this month for you, Sagittarius, is really powerful in terms of taking stock of your working life and your romantic relationships and seeing what's going on in those areas and whether they benefit you and the other person and whether you're happy or whether you should let go of things. And even though those decisions are often quite difficult, this month you have the power to really see things through. 
On the 25th of April, we have Venus, the planet of love and beauty, going in to Gemini, the planet of communication and being interested and curious in different things, going into your seventh house of relationships. So now that you've let go of the things that no longer work, you're ready to have fun and to um, bring in new things into your life and to communicate with new people and to go out with friends and to have fun and to increase the positive side of relationships even more now that you've made space for positive things by letting go of the negative. On the 30th of April, we have the full moon in Scorpio. And that happens in your 12th house of spirituality and spiritual strength. Again, I'll make a separate video on this. But this full moon in Scorpio sits on top of Jupiter, which is the lucky planet. So this is an incredibly important full moon for you happening in the 12th house of spirituality. Because if you listen to your feelings, they're going to be divinely guided and informed. And they will help you take the next steps which are going to allow you to fulfill your life purpose and why you're here and why you've come back to planet Earth. So very important on the 30th to have a little bit of quiet time to listen to your feelings and the guidance that comes through because it will be life changing information that is going to um, help you achieve your life purpose. So that's what I get for you in April. It looks like a very empowering month for you. If you would like a private reading with me, then please get in touch via my website. It's gregreescott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading. Please remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel and I'll speak to you next month.